What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610 and today I have a very awesome box opening for you guys. Cybernetic Revolution. We talked about this of course in the uh, Lost Millennium opening that I did and yeah, I actually found one of these and uh, I didn't get it for free but I got uh, most of it paid for using Swagbox of course. I save up points, get Amazon gift cards and I'm able to get what I want off Amazon. So yeah, it saved me a little bit of money on doing that so it's pretty awesome. Be sure to check out Swagbox. I think I made a video on that. I still, I guess need to make an update on that if you guys want. But yeah, let's see what we get from this. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's first edition, unfortunately, but it's still freaking awesome. Um, I wanted to open up a few of the GX boxes, of course. I know you guys have been uh, requesting all kinds of different boxes, and I'm going to try to get to all of them. I really am. Uh, a lot of the boxes are really expensive, though, like uh, Magician's Force. And uh, Invasion of Chaos, I think, is another one of the really expensive ones, but I'm still going to try to see if I can get them. So let's go ahead and open this. Uh, <laughs> Bleach Sword's not really too sharp, believe it or not. <laughs> not the best letter opener. Well, it's better with paper. Not too much with this plastic. So, here we go. Alright. Then get all the plastic wrap off. There we go. Alright, let's see. Hopefully we'll get a Cyber Dragon, of course, out of this. It'd be freaking awesome. So let's see. Of course, no secret rares, I believe, in this set either. Uh... I guess you get two ultimates from GX boxes, that's what I was told, so that's pretty interesting. And uh, no ghost rares either, so here we go. Also, of course, if you get a hollow, you know, you can only get either a rare or a hollow, it's not going to be both. Like the, you know, like the newer packs. Right? That's frog, that's pretty cool, seeing the frogs. Uh, fire darts, that's an older card. Battery men, pretty awesome seeing the battery men cards again. I don't think this is going to go in order like one side of the box first. I think I might just go through the box. Plain and simple. Steamroid. I hope we get more of the Roy cards eventually. Skyscraper Ultimate. Oh man, that looks awesome. Oh cool. I love Skyscraper, of course. Elmo Heroes are one of my favorite archetypes. That's freaking epic. Oh man, that Ultimate. I don't think I've ever seen one Ultimate. I don't think I have one. That's really cool. Like I can like feel the like the Skyscrapers and stuff on it. It looks really, just really epic. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. That's cool. I wish they still use Skyscraper. I guess some versions could, but I haven't really seen any competitive ones lately that do. Doitsu, one of the most awesome cards. <laughs> Ultimates back to back, really. Cyber Twin Dragon. Oh man, Cyber Twin Dragon's really awesome looking card. I always hoped that they would come out with like a blue eyes white dragon that was like two of them put together. Sort of like they did with the uh, you know Cyber Twin. Man, that looks really awesome. Ultimate Rares. I mean, back in the day, the Ultimate Rares looked, I think, better than they do now. That's really cool looking. So already, I, we're doing great with this box already. I'm extremely happy with the two Ultimates we got so far. Steam Gyroid. Awesome common card. Doitsu again. Uh, Dark Catapulter. I remember, uh, I think Jaden used this one. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think he only used it like one or two episodes. I don't know. I want to rewatch GX. GX was my favorite of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. The original, of course, always a special place in my heart, but GX was still my favorite. And I hope that eventually Season 4, you know, get dubbed. Maybe. <laughs> Soitsu. Let's see. Psychroid. Oh, cool. Here we go. Uh, BES Crystal Core. These guys are actually pretty awesome. They're kind of annoying, too, the way they, they won't ever leave the field and stuff. So they're pretty cool. They're like, uh, based off Gradius, I believe is the game. I guess they're, I think they're the bosses. Like, the BS cards are always like the boss ones. I, I guess they were like bosses of certain levels. I don't know. Pretty awesome, though. I like how, you know, sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh! does that. That kind of stuff. Steamroid. Alright, we have Wattweiler. That's kind of hard for me to say for some reason. <laughs> there we go. Uh, really awesome card, though. Another good one for Heroes. Gotta love Heroes. I don't think people use that one as <laughs> anymore either, which is a shame. Really awesome card. Alright, we have Steam Gyroid against System Down. Good rare card against Machines. Still pretty evil. Alright. Also, for people that may be new to seeing some of my openings, I hate to name off all the commons and stuff. I usually just name off a few. Just because it takes it makes the opening so much longer to watch, so I hate to do that. Soitsu, awesome card. Uh, Spark Blaster. Uh, that one's pretty cool as well. I like Spark Blaster. C, Protective Soul, a Batteryman C. I don't. I guess Batteryman C is the only Batteryman in this set. I don't know. 
I know they kind of did one of those things, you know, where you get like a piece of the art to have like over a couple of sets. Iron Man is still pretty awesome. Alright. Of course, frogs too. This, I think this started them. Dragon's Mirror, awesome common card. Uh, oh, there we go. Cyber and Dragon Ultra. Oh man, that looks awesome. Too bad this isn't first edition, but still, it's still awesome. It doesn't matter. Still freaking awesome. I, I'll probably end up using this card. I don't know. We'll have to maybe you know something use the Malefic versions of this as well. So, oh man, that looks awesome. I never got one of these out of an actual pack when I when this pack was new. So that's really epic. Although I really like the uh, altar version they have too, like the promo. It's not worth nearly as much, but it's still awesome. I like how it's like, I guess, a dark version of it. Sort of like how they did with Cyber Dragon, had like the evil version in a way, when Zane turns evil or something. Jetroid. Let's see, we have uh, Transcendent Wings. That's an awesome card too. I like Wing Kribo level 10. That'd be awesome to get him. I think he's an Ultra in this set. I think that's right. Whoop, I'm gonna destroy that pack. Let's see, what else can we get from this? It's already a really epic box. Uh, let's see, Elemental Hero, Bubble Man. That's pretty cool. Bubble Man's still widely used, you know. And Bubble Beat, I guess, is the version of it that a lot of people... I hate saying that, though. I need to come up with a cooler name for that. I love Elemental Heroes, though. I, I might actually build them again. I don't know. I want to do more of a fusion build, though. I don't really want to do the, you know, the Bubble Man build. It's cool, but... I would really like to do something where I could use, like, Flame Wingman and stuff. I know it's not as competitive, but come on. Flame Wingman's awesome. All right. Wait for the camera to focus. There we go. All right. We have a Magical Explosion. This is a pretty cool card because I like the way he just looks like he had, like, a huge battle or something. It's like a last uh, ditch effort or something. I don't know. It just looks cool. The card doesn't have a story. I just come up with one in my mind. <laughs> That's be like something from Dragon Ball Z or something. I don't know. This looks cool. Alright. Let's see. There we go. Okay, we have uh, another one. Magical Explosion. Pot of Generosity. Jerry Beans Man. Remember using him? He was a spirit on a... Spirit Caller, I think, was the DS game. He was one of the dual spirits. I've, they all had an ability. I don't remember what he did. That was a pretty cool game. I might have to replay that sometime. I think I still have that game. Hope I do. Alright, let's see. We have a DD Trap Hole. Pretty cool. Not bad. Uh, let's see. I think it's... Yeah, 24 packs, I believe, in this box as well. I don't think it's any different. Alright. Cybernetic Cyclopean. I, I've, <laughs> it's kind of a different name. Uh, oh, there we go again. Cyber Twin Dragon. Super rare. It's pretty cool. Not as cool as the Ultimate Rare, but still awesome. Pretty cool to get two of those. And Tadpole. Seems like the cards are darker, too. Alright. see, what are we going to get? Alright, let's see. Oh, there we go. Cyber Dragon. A uh, super rare Cyber Dragon, which looks freaking awesome. They also had a tin of Cyber Dragon, which I have been uh, trying to get like for an opening, too. But a super rare one just looks freaking awesome. You know, especially one from its original pack like that. Like I said, still a shame. It's not uh, first edition, but still awesome. Doesn't matter. Still freaking awesome. I'll probably use it in a one on x or something just for that reason. Because super rare one is just really cool and nostalgic. It's awesome. we got... Two of the twin, and of course Cyber End and Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Very good box, in my opinion. We're already doing... And Skyscraper. Man, that's pretty dang awesome as well. Alright, let's see. What else we got going here? Another Transcendent Wings. I love if we get a Wing Kribo level 10, but I don't know. Let's see, I think that's Ultra. So I don't know if I can get that or not. We'll have to see. Okay, Dragon's Mirror. Great common card. Dimension Wall. Not too bad. It's a pretty cool card. Uh, Trade Infinity. Another great uh, dinosaur card. Right. Let's see, another Dragon's Mirror. That's good. Miracle Fusion. There we go with a rare version of Miracle Fusion. That's pretty awesome to see that. Remember when that card skyrocketed in price? No, I think it's dropped down pretty good amount because of the reprints, which is still freaking awesome. Still cool to have a rare version of it. 
Actually, I'm going to set that aside for that reason. Alright. Let's see. What else are we going to get from this set? Right, we have DD Trap Hole. I was trying to think, too. I don't know if there are any uh, Fusion Trail materials in this set or not. I don't remember. That's so why I was trying to think the whole time. Uh, maybe Rampart Blaster, or is that the next set? I think maybe Rampart Blaster is in this set, but I don't remember. It'd be awesome to get one of those. I actually have one of the older ones of those. Right, let's see. Uh, different Dimension uh, Master. It's hard to read the way the lighting was. Pretty cool. Alright, I think, yeah, three packs left. Let's see, what else can we get from this? Alright, we have another Miracle Fusion. That's pretty cool. Miracle Fusion Rare. It's actually some pretty good uh, rares and comments in this set. Dragon's Mirror and stuff too, that's pretty awesome. Alright, two packs. Let's see, can we get another Hollow? in this box opening the right way with another hollow. Alright, Skyscraper Super Rare version. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's kind of weird how I got the Ultimate versions and the Super Rare versions in this box. So, uh, no complaints really. I mean, the Ultimate version is a little bit cooler, but this is still awesome. It's, it's Skyscraper. It's one of the coolest cards. Uh, uh, it's in the first episode. Yeah, yeah, first episode, of course. Freaking awesome card. I wish it was still used. I might have to end up making some kind of like older material deck profile just for nostalgia purposes. So if you guys want to see that, of course, tell me in the comments. I'd love to use like uh, a lot of the other ones, like Flame Wing Man and uh, Thunder Giant and stuff. Let's see, Rising Energy, and of course we got another Dragon's Mirror, so that was pretty awesome too. So yeah, not bad at all. I mean, this box was pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I think Rampart Blaster is in this. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Elemental Fusion. I believe there was one. I think it was Rampart Blaster. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course, in the comments. Uh, but yeah, Skyscraper, that's awesome. All the Cyber Dragon stuff we got. You know, Twin Cyber Dragon, Cyber End, all this different stuff. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about this. I'm going to, of course, uh, keep the Ultimate uh, Skyscraper, and I do plan to keep the uh, uh, Cyber End Dragon and the Cyber Dragon, but the rest stuff will be for trade, of course, that I got, you know, commons, rares, all that stuff. So yeah, if you want to trade, of course, just send me a message. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and tell me, what box should we open next? Uh, I'm mainly kind of looking for GX boxes, but, you know, if there's something else, of course, it's always, you know, always welcome to more suggestions of other uh, box openings, and tins, and packs, and everything, too. So tell me what you guys think, of course. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later, guys.